Hey. Hey. Jeez, this is pretty bad. <laughs> it's okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just got to Vegas. Where are you now? The, I'm in Vegas at the, at the PI. I, I've been training a little bit this morning. I did. I mean, I drove this morning from LA, not from LA, from Huntington to here, train a little bit, and then uh, now I'm just going to go chill a little bit and then train again tonight. Great. How is your training going? We saw a picture with Nate Diaz and uh, Uros Medic. Are they oh, your yeah, sparring yeah. partners? It seems yeah, like yeah. they well, are a good training company. <laughs> What's up, Cody? I just saw him today at the PI. <laughs> um, well, no, Urosh is my training partner, like a uh, training, training partner, like on a daily basis, basically. Yeah. And um, Nate, I just, uh, you know, we're just, uh, we're just good friends. And uh, sometimes he comes by a brick house in, in LA and uh, I go there a lot too. So I just met him and then, and then we trained together and uh, he brought some of his boys and uh, I was there. So we exchanged some rounds and uh, it was, it's always good work with Nate, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Before a few years, uh, I was reading something and I found find out that you have some wild trainings, like two sessions, first session, we, one started from 10 a.m., uh, second is finished at 10 p.m. Uh, I'm not sure, sure how many hours, uh, but you can share that with us. Do you still have the same routine? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. twice a day, every day. You know, that's, uh, Huntington, there is not much to do, so all I do is training <laughs> Yeah, just wake up in the morning, just eat, go to train, and then uh, then get back, eat, like unpack my stuff, repack my stuff, and go to the next training until night, and then uh, and then eat, and then go home, and then sleep, and that's about it, really. Every day, you don't have like one day. No, no, Sunday, Sunday. But to be honest, even Sunday, sometimes I'm bored, so I just jump on the bike and I just like uh, do like an hour, an hour session or something, you know, or or shadow boxing and stuff. The yeah, the day, it, I'm fully committed to this game, so. What are so, you doing in your free time? You know, like, just chill. Just, just chill, probably, you know, like, go out here and there if I don't have a fight. And, uh, you know, try to stay out of trouble. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Okay. Is it true that you have been training in six different gyms in Italy? What are your oh, yeah, yeah. look like? Yeah, in Italy was in Italy was a mess because uh, I mean I didn't realize in the beginning that you know MMA didn't really exist. So then uh, I had to go like many different gyms. You know, I was getting on the train, like go like an hour away, do one session. Then uh, oh, you see, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you see, like I'm drinking coffee with Giga on my free time. Giga just popped in. Yeah, so <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, no, I was going all over the places. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then eventually I moved to London after, like, after two years, because I realized there wasn't really much that I, you know, if I wanted to bring it to the next level, I had to move somewhere else. So, so yeah, so that, but yeah, I was going, you know, I was doing wrestling on one, on one, at one gym, MMA, and another gym, boxing at another gym, yeah. competing in all different, all different disciplines. And, uh, so, yeah, basically that. That's true. Can you remember your first MMA fight? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, it was at a tattoo convention actually. My first MMA fight. It was pretty crazy because it wasn't even a ring. It was just like some, uh, some mats thrown down on the floor, and uh, yeah, I was just so pumped up. Like <laughs> I just remember, I just, it was probably like I was like I probably was training for like four or five months. And I just wanted to fight so bad. And I'm like, you know, like, just You're put just, me in. I'm, I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, no, I, I dropped the guy and uh, submitted him. But it, it was it was fun for sure. I mean, it was at, at, at the two conventions. So it was like, like people was almost on top of us. And, uh, <laughs> fucking Giga talking shit. But, yeah, so, um. Yeah, people was almost on top of us, and it was fun because, you know, it was, like, all these people getting there to just, like, see, like, to watch, like, all different kind of artists for the two artists and stuff. So, yeah, that was my first fight in Milan. Okay, so 
uh, your first martial sport was kickboxing uh, when you were 13 years old. Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, But, I mean, right away I started jiu-jitsu too, basically. I always, my, in my mind, I was mm -hmm. always want, I've always wanted to do MMA, but uh, there, wasn't a, there wasn't really any MMA, so I started with Thai boxing in the beginning and then uh, right away got into, like, uh, uh, jiu-jitsu stuff. Yeah, so how would have your 13-year-old self feel if they knew that uh, this is going to be the life you live? That's the thing, like, you know, I, you know, like, it's one of those things, like, if I would have known what I had to go through to get to this point, I don't know if I would ever, you know, if I would ever start, but uh, I'm, I'm glad I did not know back in the days, and I just had, like, I just had this idea in my mind, and I went for it, you know, so that's how it is with everything you know you cannot just plan everything out it's just impossible you can you cannot you can you can you can count on like you know you can you can like uh, predict so many variables but you can't predict it all so you can uh, you just gotta go for it and just uh, believe in it and then uh, you know eventually will happen israel is still the one what do you think about that fight israel Whitaker? and uh, what were your expectations yeah i mean it's I don't know, man. I mean, I don't, I just, my mind, I mean, my mindset changed. My mindset changed after the last fight, you know, like after the last two fights, like I know I'm going to get these title shots and uh, this title shot again, eventually um, this year, or I mean, I, I believe this year. Um, but from now on, you know, I'm going for the kill. Like I'm not going to, I'm really going to go for the kill. And you guys going to see it. It's just, uh, I changed my mindset and, uh, For me, it's not about like, of course, it's about winning, but it's about like, I don't know, just like going out and like and, and breaking my opponents for real. Like it's, I developed a different, a different um, like knowledge of, on fighting, I feel, after after my last fight. And, uh, and I can't wait to show it in, in my next, uh, in my next fights. So um, whoever, I've ha whoever I have in front, I'm, I'm just going to go for the kill, you know, and then, uh, I don't even need to to talk that much. You just you just guys gonna see it when uh, when it's time to to fight. So now Anthony Smith um, believes that Alex Pereira uh, has the best chance to ending uh, uh, ending Israel's <laughs> Adesanya reign in a middleweight as a middleweight champion. So what do you think about that? <sighs> I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I, I, I know who's going to fight next. I can't say right now because uh, I might spoil it. But I know who's going who to fight next. And uh, uh, that, that, that's going to be a real test. And I don't think he's going to pass it. You know, I don't, I don't think he's there yet. But I know why they're making this fight. And uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's definitely a good fighter. And uh, he, he, you know, he can crack. That's for sure. But from there to being elite in MMA, it's a different story. And um I think he's not there yet, but uh, but we'll see. I mean, you know, he's uh, he's definitely he's definitely a good striker. Is there any chance to spoil us <laughs> your next fight? <laughs> nah, because it, it's not it's not on my business. You know, I wouldn't do it if it was my business. I could have taken a decision, but since it's not, it's, you know, it's not. It's uh, I you know, yeah, I, I can't do it. So you are now a uh, third rank guy in the middle division. And uh, above you are Kanonier, Whitaker, and Israel. What mm. do you think? Who will be your next opponent? Are you 100% sure? I believe Whitaker is going to be the one, you know. I believe. And, and to be honest, I mean, you know, like, there, there is two guys that I want to beat. Before I'm over, before I'm over with my with my with my career, and one is Whitaker and one is Adesanya, and I'm gonna beat them both by by the time I'm done. So, you know, um, you know that. So I, I definitely won that fight, and um, I think it's gonna happen. And um, I'm excited, man. Like I mean, that's that's a fight that really excite excites me. Yeah, Darren Till uh, said that he would like to fight uh, Sean, Sean Strickland and uh, if he get that opportunity. So how do you see that fight? <sighs> like, Darren Till is a joke, man. Darren Till is a joke. 
Like, I would be ashamed to, like, the video that are, they're going around right now with him being like a, like, like a fat boy, like, like, you know, like, he looks like a burger. Like, it looks like he's, I don't know, like, he looks like, Somebody, somebody tied up, tie, tied him up in a shirt. Like he's so fat that like he doesn't even fit in his own shirt, and um, you know, being toyed around by 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 Kamza like that, it just, it just, I, I would be ashamed. Like it just, it's just not a good look for him. I don't even, I don't even think he's gonna ever be back. You know, he's a, he's a like, I don't have, I don't even think he's ever gonna be back. Like, if he fights Sean Strickland, Sean Strickland runs through him like like it's nothing. It's uh, I don't think Darren Till is not even he's not even in the picture uh, uh, of uh, of uh, he's not even he's not even top fifteen. I don't even it's it's irrelevant to be honest. Darren Till is irrelevant. So describe these fighters in one word. Uh, Paulo Costa. Uh, fat. <laughs> okay, Derek Burnson. Old. <laughs> Old, Jack Hermanson. Uh, washed up. Nate Diaz. Uh, OG. Okay, so you tweeted something uh, interesting before three, uh, two weeks, let's say, and the guys are still wondering who is Felicia that hits harder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah, because he, he was losing his mind and he was calling me out. And I'm like, bro, like, you couldn't even, you couldn't even hurt me with a high kick 20 pounds over. What do you think you can do? You just, just, you know, just, just get over it. Just fight somebody else and, 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 uh, and, uh, reclaim your shot. You know, you, you don't deserve to, you don't even, you, you, I shouldn't even be on your radar. Like, you don't, yeah, I, 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 I embarrassed you, you know, just get over it. Let's go back to you again. Uh, when uh, we are talking about your score, you have uh, 18 wins and only uh, five losses. Uh, that uh, five you lost uh, by decision. Mm -hmm. So you've never been knocked out and never submitted. Submission. The, oh, so no. when you analyze your previous match <clears throat> uh, in which you lost, uh, what was it? that you needed to win? Well, I mean, you know, a few of them, I think they, they robbed me, to be honest. Um, I mean, I think I think the first fight without Asanya was definitely mine. Uh, second one was close. I mean, the one with uh, Akhmedo was a draw. And then and then uh, all the other ones, you know, was a little bit lack of experience. You know, I, I got thrown with like this, like... Uh, um, you know, big guy right in the beginning of my career uh, in the UFC. I, you know, like, I never, like, my career was never, like, uh, smooth, you know. I always got thrown, I, I got thrown in with everybody. Like, wh whoever can get it, can get it, you know. But that's that's how I got built. And that's why, you know, and even that, nobody could ever, like, come close to finish. You know, nobody ever even come close to finish me. So, that just shows, you know, the grit and the, and the, um, and the will that I have to, to not get like um uh like overtaken in, in in fights and um and from now on it just it's you know now that I'm ready to face anybody it's just going to be just going to be fun you know I just feel like my career actually like I'm just developing like the proper way right now so it's going to be fun so uh what are your plans in the near future uh well, I saw that Adesanya fixed his titty, so um, you know I'm, I gotta go back and 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 and, um, and 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 make and and make him get it like a new one because I feel like whenever he fights me, he's the, he get he gets steroid steroid up, and um, you know I need to I need to make sure that I beat him so then uh, it's over with him. And uh, I mean I mean everything goes back to like everything goes back to like winning the title, so. I think next is going to be Whitaker, and then after that, I cannot be denied a, a, a title shot against the, the steroid user Adesanya, and then um, and then that's it. Then then we'll see. I don't think I'm not going to miss the I'm not going to miss the second chance with uh, with Adesanya. So 
I mean, that's definitely the goal. And uh, another fight that I really want, like I said, is Whitaker. So um, let's make that happen. And then um, let's, I mean, let's take care of that first. And then, um, and then take over Adesanya and be the first uh, Italian UFC champion. Man, okay, keep going. Thank you for sharing all these information <laughs> with us. And uh, we hope next time we will talk with another, let's say, first champ Italian champion of middle division. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice Thank go. Thank you for the time. Bye. Bye-bye.